Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I've got a couple messages to bring to you this morning. This one is from last year, and it is another one from Julie Wedby. That that some I don't know if Kathy had it from Grafted in Team Jesus, if she had it in her archives, or someone sent it and said, "Hey, look at this from last year," because I shared the recent one from the other day with you all. I think it was dated November first, maybe. And anyway, then she shared this one with us, and I and um, sent it to me in a link so I could share it. Okay, so I'm going to bring it forward. Oops. Uh-oh. The internet disappeared. What happened there? Let's pull it back up. Firefox. I must have accidentally clicked the X up there. Okay, so I got to pull it back up. I got it on my... I saved it as a link. Or what, what do you call it? A bookmark? On my thing up there. Toolbar? Whatever. Anyway, this is Julie Wedby. Behold, I come. And it's called, it's dated Tuesday, May the 26th, 2020. The second, it's called, The Second Wave is Coming, But My Jewels Will Shine. And it was received May the 24th of 2020. I think it's kind of long. <clears throat> so I'll do my best to read it right. Tell them, daughter. Tell them, all is not as it seems. Now, if you recall, last May 2020, everybody was under lockdown from COVID. People were out of work. Shops had been shut down. All but some gro the grocery stores. People were had to social distance. They had to wear masks. Uh, they were saying on mainstream media how many people were being diagnosed with it, right? All right, just keep that in mind. Think of what was going on last May. Sorry, let me double check my position here. I know I got a bright light on. I don't want it drowning me out. But it's really dreary out, and so I kind of needed to put it on. All right, tell them, daughter, tell them. All is not as it seems. Right, it sure wasn't. There was so supposedly this pandemic going on, and it was not at all what they were making it out to be. But to you who have opened the door to your heart and allowed me to find my place of rest, I assure you, you will have no fear. I urge you now to be extremely circumspect and cautious. Do not become distracted and keep your eyes on me and all I have taught you. Do you see how prophetic this was? Those who took their eyes off him and kept them on the news ran for the you-know-what as soon as it was available to them. It appears as if things are returning to a more normal reality. Okay, maybe by then, in her area, they were. I don't remember. It, it's possible. I know that in May is 2020 is when I got Jasper, so I was able to get a ride out of here. Finally. Nothing could be further from the truth. Okay, he said, it appears as if things are returning to a more normal reality. Nothing could be further from the truth. What little reprieve the powers that be tell you that you, ha you are having is only an illusion. Boy, how do was, is that the truth? Deception reigns everywhere. Do not get caught up in the ways of man again. Thinking and planning on life as it was. It will not be again. Boy, this was so came to pass and still is. The judgments are upon you. And a second wave more destructive and severe than this plague you have witnessed is right around the corner. <clears throat> you know what he's talking about. 
and there is very little time until this occurs. This is just as I have told you many years ago that you would barely be able to process one judgment before the next more devastating one would be upon you. The time has come, my children, and everything I have spoken will come to pass. For those in the United States especially, your summer season will be short. And before you know it, the dark days will return with severe punishment coming from many directions. The day is far spent and night has come. I have warned that what is coming will make this current plague pale in comparison. This nation of America that had once boasted of being the proud and the free will be utterly destroyed because of her pride and her destruction will be final and I will know her no more. While the church was sleeping and ignoring my warnings and counsel, the great serpent began his end time scheme in earnest and the man of perdition has been tutored and stands ready to make his appearance. As they say themselves, they will not let a good crisis go to waste and they are poised and aggressively working towards the implementation of their beast system worldwide. My children, it is coming sooner than you think. Remember, I am doing something with your time, and you must be prepared. Pause. You know that the word of God says the Antichrist, the beast system, will seek to change times and law. And in another place it said, lest I shorten the days, no flesh would be left alive. Does anybody else feel like every day flies by faster than it used to? People used to say, oh, that's how it is for older folks. Well, even younger people are saying that. Just wondered. Leave in the comments if you feel the same way. All right, so I am doing something with your time, and you must be prepared. You who choose to ignore me will face terrible consequences for your disobedience. You are not made free by any man or government. I alone grant your freedom. You are slaves to that which you serve. I urge you again and again, <clears throat> choose this day whom you are serving as your king stands ready for the fulfillment of all things. You who walk intimately with me will have peace that only I can give. You will walk in my authority and power and step into the assignments that have been ordained for you since the beginning. Your needs will be provided and I will protect you. Your heart will now swell with more joy than you've ever known as you recognize your Messiah and groom, and my presence permeates every fiber of your being. Rejoice! Your king is here. He is here. No weapon formed against you will prosper, and one day soon you will see every knee bow to the Great One, the only king of all. And he signs it, Yahushua. Now, <clears throat> it wasn't as long as I thought it was. This is the second wave is coming. So do you think he was talking about the taking of the toxin? Or was he talking about the second wave of the illness itself? How the winter of 2020 going into 2021 was worse? I honestly don't remember it being worse. Maybe you do. Y'all refresh my memory. Tell me what you remember about last winter. Because this was given a year and a half ago. Okay, so we're going to end this one here. 
I got to pull up the other one, so I'm just going to cut this one off and say I plead the blood of Jesus over this this video, the message over each and every one of us, our devices, and all of our internet connections. With that, I'm going to say bye for now. I'll be back soon to talk to you later.